Alright, so we are back for another review and today we have the Tangem Ola. So um, this is actually um, the first um, wired Tangem that we're gonna check here in this channel because I did check before the Tangem Echo and that is a TWS around $100 but now this is uh, cheaper but a wired counterpart around $50 and uh, definitely looking forward to seeing how a Tangem sounds like in the wired space because they do remind me of the moon traps of the world with the Echo. Um, I like the neutral tuning there and, uh, you know, for a TWS, for an enthusiast, definitely, definitely nice. So you have Tangem Ola here. You're getting actually a similar, maybe moon drop ish um, character in front. And um, they do name even the character. This is Asando um, Tanj. So hopefully I got that, um, pronounced that correctly. Um, you're getting a dynamic driver, um, 10 millimeter. So you are getting high polymer graphene, um, seismic film driver, um, 16 ohm impedance, um, 126 dB in sensitivity, frequency range, um, 7 to 45 kHz in frequency range. And it seems that uh, this is uh, the tuning that we are getting. And a very nice box overall. So very moon drop ish in the overall presentation, opening it up. And actually, I did open this up already. I want to show you guys how it, you know, the, the bossing experience. But I look at this box, guys. So um, you, you're getting even that texture at the side and you're getting that logo. So actually this logo is present in a lot of things here in this unboxing experience. So definitely, you know, the attention to detail from Tangem is really, really nice here opening it up. All right. So um, you are getting some manuals here and uh, here you're getting that case and a nice, you know, pouch here. Tangem branded and uh, kind of like a velour style pad uh, case, which is nice. And of course, here inside you're getting additional tips and the organized as well so um, this is a good sign that um, you know you have some attention to detail and that this is what they used um, actually medium or small tips it's what I use for my listening and you have some manuals as well inside and of course you are getting this IEM so, and actually the first time that I saw this I'm really amazed on the look overall so it did remind me of maybe an Apple-esque design so um, you're getting that maybe um, accuracy in the design here and that definitely looks nice for me even getting this Ola in front so the attention to detail for the you know build quality is nice there and metal in build all right so looking at the cable quality so um, it's actually not the thickest cable but it is very silky here and uh, very nice in build quality as well i would say in this price range one of the better quality um, cables that I have seen um, quite reflective as well. You have the straight plug at the top, Tangem branded. You're also getting a two pin connector as well with some ear hooks. And uh, this is the nicely done ear hooks here. Um, you're not seeing the, the white plastic here on top. You're seeing that, um, you know, quality differences here compared to others. In this price range, um, you're getting that Tangem branded as well. And actually, Ola branded here um, in the fork. And you are getting some organizer here as well. So yeah, the cable definitely nice. Um, you know, they even have some branding all, all around um, in the color as well matches uh, with your IEM so that's nice so again attention to detail here and uh, going to the Ola itself so yeah actually I, I did use this for um, quite a while now but uh, it does look still really nice for me you're getting that um, you know metal matte metal in build um, kind of anodized um, look here uh, but uh, this is a bit more matte compared to maybe your Apple um, metal but uh, yeah, this is cold to the touch. You're getting that Ola at the side and Tangem at the other side as well. And uh, this is uh, quite a small IEM as well. So um, this will be very light um, to wear on the ear. And uh, you are not getting that maybe IEM design that contours. Um, so this is a bit more blocky in the design. And uh, yeah, that might play out with uh, you know, the, the theme that they're aiming for here. It's kind of like a leaf design for me. And uh, you're getting the two-pin connector as well at the top. And here, um, you are getting your um, tips as well. And the insertion as well is not that deep. So this might be nice for some casual listening. And uh, you're actually getting some blockiness here. So um, this is actually one of the issues that I had. So after wearing this for quite some time. So um, this is not the most comfortable you know, fits on the ear. So you need to maybe adjust this from time to time because of that blocky um, stuff here. So um, you will feel this um, on the ear. So that's uh, one con. But uh, definitely that lightness is very easy to wear on the ear. But yeah, the build quality here. Um, um, I would say top notch, uh, maybe even better compared to some blondes here. But uh, yeah, very nice quality overall. Um, one of the best uh, that I've seen in this price range for sure. But uh, let's put this um, on the ear. All right, so we are now wearing it on the ear and it's definitely a small IEM and you can definitely feel the blockiness that I mentioned a while ago. But in terms of the isolation, this is just average um, to below average. So this is not the most isolating that you can listen to. So this is more for casual listening, not something that you will use for some live monitoring. In terms of the comfort, uh, yeah, average as well. So um, this is not something that you would want to use for you know the long, long day listening. So I find this uh, not so comfortable because of that maybe blockiness in the design. 
um, not a big issue I'd say you can still adjust it from time to time but uh, yeah um, there are other IEMs that are you know better for comfort compared to this in terms of the stability as well um, so you are getting that ear hooks um, so it's uh, fairly stable to wear on the ear so yeah fit on the ear is uh, you know so-so for me so not the strength um, of this IEMs um, so let's try to listen to some tunes and uh, let's try to um, figure out how this sounds like so we are now listening to some Versace on the floor by Bruno Mars Alright, so first impressions here, um, so this does remind me highly of the Tanji Meko. So um, this is not an overly aggressive presentation, um, this has that relaxed nature to the sound, much like the Tanji Meko. Um, it has that maybe reference vibe to the overall sound, so again, this is not gonna be your maybe lively kind of listening. So this is a bit more toned down, a bit more relaxed to listen to on the ear. But actually, in this of the signature, um, this is more of a warm, neutral presentation. So compared to the Tanji Meko, the Tanji Meko is more neutral more flat in the presentation this has a bit more elevation in the bass region and uh, yeah the bass even if um, you're getting that signature so you can see it on the screen so um this is not a bass head spare for me so the bass here is still controlled for me in the mix and yeah the first thing that i noticed here is how nice the vocals are so uh, the positioning of the vocals is really nice let us try another track so actually you can see it um let's try the top end first you can see it in the graph that um, the top end is a bit more maybe recessed in the mix and uh, yeah, actually, still it's extended in the mix, but uh, you know the the volume, the the elevation is uh, recessed there in the mix. So you can definitely see that uh, maybe a bit more control top end here. Um, this is not gonna be your shiny type of presentation. This is not a shimmery type of presentation. So um, if you're a treble head, um, this might not you know fit the bill for you. So actually, like here for Cocaine, Eric Clapton. So yeah, the top end, uh, the guitar is a bit more rounded off, a bit more toned down in the mix. So yeah, for the treble, very controlled treble here. I'd say. Um, so I listened to this for a long listening session. I didn't have an issue in the treble part. And yeah, that's for the body and the cymbals quite good here for me overall so a um, fairly good body in the overall presentation this is not a peaky top for me in the overall presentation but yeah uh, definitely the bigger issue here that i encounter is for some guitar tracks uh, which i'm usually always listening to so this might fall flat in the top end here maybe lacking a bit more uh, maybe energy there for me on top so yeah definitely for tribal heads um you might look elsewhere here so let us try another track uh, we weren't born to follow by bon jovi so going to the mids and vocals, very nice positioning here. And the, the thickness of the vocals as well is very nice as well. So the mids is one of the highlights for me of the presentation here. So the positioning reminds me of a Moondrop presentation. So you're getting that smoothness, uh, but it is not still blonde smooth uh, vocal for me. But definitely the positioning here is really nice. And it's quite revealing of our presentation as well. Actually, this might have a bit of hotness in the some some vocals. So it will depend on your players. Actually, I played um, the Tangem Ola and... Uh, maybe a more relaxed player and the uh, played well that the pairing is really nice but i actually also tried this with a uh, maybe engaging um dap and uh, i found it to be a bit maybe too shouty for me in the vocals let us try some let's groove by earth within fire here uh, for some female vocals even for let's groove um earth within fire still very nice here in the presentation you got maybe um some nitpicks here so still this won't be as smooth as your moon drops or maybe your blondes um so th those are still gonna be more smooth in the presentation so as this still a bit more maybe thinner in the note weight for me and yeah maybe in the the vocals as well um, i would say this is maybe not the most accurate presentation um in the vocals so this has maybe some glassy nature in the the vocal maybe a touch thin compared to maybe other iems it does the micro detail as well um this is not a micro detail monster so i'm um, here in the vocals um, i'm looking still for a bit more raspiness or micro detail in the vocals so let us go for some bass um bruno mars too good to say goodbye so going to the bass um so um, as you can see from the signature um this is a bit elevated for me in the mix but it is not an overly bassy pair so the bass is more controlled compared to your usual blondes but uh, this is still um you know quite substantial bass for me in the mix it still has the slowness for me um so this is not your super technical bass so uh the bass presentation here has that slight boom in the overall sound maybe slight a uh, mid bass bleed as well but i still wouldn't you know characterize this for bass heads so in terms of the impact um compared to maybe the blonde zero threes um those are still gonna be more impactful more in your face compared to the bass here so the bass here is still a bit more controlled for me in the mix however one downside for me on the bass here is uh yes um this is ample in the mix um also a bit elevated in the mix but for me the weight um the note weight for me of the bass here is a bit lacking for me 
So I'm kind of falls flat, uh, so much like the top end. So the note weight for me, um, also the vocals, um, is a uh, you know flat for me in the overall presentation. So maybe yeah, again for bass heads, you might find this maybe a touch boring of a bass to listen to. So that will depend on you. So actually the bass here reminds me of the Tanji Echo as well. So um, you're getting that still controlled you know bass presentation in the mix. Let's try some September Earth Wind and Fire. Actually for the sound stage, um, it's very big here. So I'm one of the bigger ones in this price range, let's say. So yeah, definitely really nice on that separation above average here because of that maybe um slightly cleaner presentation than your usual dynamic drivers separation is a bit better compared to your dynamic drivers but that is not a separation monster for me micro detail average to above average um so this is not a micro detail monster here so actually i'm quite impressed with my overall listen here We're getting a really nice build quality um you know fit and finish is nice the attention to detail it's nice cable is nice and uh, that looks as well very nice here overall and uh, you're getting that um, controlled on um, top end so for the treble sensitive crowd you will like this um, revealing vocal very nice positioning and of course that bass as well ample in the mix and uh, you're still getting a bit more fun um, so this is not uh, I would say a boring IEM at all uh, because of that you know bass uh, presentation however in the other side of course um, yeah sometimes uh, for some dabs or players you might find that the vocals here um, can be hot to listen to so make sure you pair this up with the nice um, player um, especially for the vocal part and also um it's lacking a bit of note weight yeah the note weight might still be uh, maybe flat for some people so um yeah that's uh, the only con that i can think of but overall having that maybe warm neutral presentation build quality this is a very nice iem for me um top five contender maybe so um this is a top five contender for me because of that overall you know package especially for those looking for a warm neutral presentation that's nice um this has a unique selling point and um i can see that um you know how tangem approaches their iems as well so they are not um you know the, the most aggressive they are not the most lively most fun uh, but uh, they're they're kind of an enthusiast uh, more kind of reference kind of sound um, but uh, they're still adding a bit more fun on top of that all right so that's my take with the tangent all of course if you learn something um, leave a like and scrap more content like this in the future so what do you think of the tangent ola um do you own tangent products as well what do you think of them let me know down in the comments below of course thanks for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next um, sequel video goodbye